We're talking about time, people. I don't know exactly what can be more fundamental than that. Like practically everybody, we all agree that you know, there's this 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 thing. It's time, and we all and, and, and it goes forward. We like to say, you know, a, stuff happens. A causes B causes C or something. Right? Thing? A majig? Anybody? And then just, no, wait, never mind. You can warp around and things. And Stephen Hawking, a famous physicist, um, you know, was a guy in the wheelchair and so forth. Um, he spent a lot of time attempting to, to prove that time travel is entirely impossible. He's not been able to prove that time travel is entirely impossible. It's conceded uh, that it, it may theoretically be possible. Now, why exactly we are not bombarded by tourists from the future, no one knows. Furthermore, no one knows, you know, what else may be out there in Seattle Galaxy, etc. Is there aliens? Is there... I don't know. It's a whole Fermi paradox, what they call it. The whole, like, there's a big old space out there, and uh, is there anyone talking to us? Because we don't hear anyone. Some of these alien civilizations, if, you know, there's just working out the math of how many habitable planets there are supposed to be here and there, they're supposed to be civilizations that would be, like, I don't know, a million years older than us. I'm looking at that, like... I'm not sure we'd be able to comprehend that sort of stuff. Can you imagine? I mean, uh, oh, as far as just the human species has come in the last million years... And then consider the fact that technology is getting faster and faster and things change rather rapidly. A million years from now, does time even work in the same way? Have we, like, evolved beyond that? Have we... thing and... and thing and... and such? I don't know. It's the great unknown. And granted, there could be great evil in the great unknown. I mean, who... No idea. If time travel was possible, frick. <laughs> Anything could happen or not happen or has had not had happened. Good old time travel tense problems. <laughs> the great unknown. But I like the notion, though. That even... Death, <laughs> of all things, may in fact be much less of an obstacle than we realize. I don't know. We are currently doing a bunch of stuff that was previously thought to be impossible. You know, like flying to the moon and so forth. Go back a thousand years, tell someone about that. They'd be like, what the frick are you talking about? A thousand years from now? What we've wound up with? Or if even the term 1,000 years from now makes sense. I don't know. <laughs> Seriously, we're going we're gonna to look back at our, our current view of time. And at some point, like, wow, you know, it, it'll be like the way we look back at the at, uh, people who thought the Earth was flat, you know, way back many thousands of years ago. Not Chris Columbus. People before him discovered the Earth was round. Anyway. Um... <laughs> But thousands of years ago, someone thought the Earth was flat. <laughs> and a whole bunch of other very silly things besides, you know. And in all that thousands of years, several things have stayed the same. You know, the fact that people die, for instance. But is that part also possibly changeable? I don't know. But I have hope, you know, hope that just, just the possibility that any wickedness, any evil, might be undone in some way. Not that I know how. And again, within the great unknown, there could be plenty of evil which undoes good things. Yes, that, that's all possible. Uh, I'm trying not to be overly optimistic about it. And there's still reason for hope in all that. But 
if you have good intentions, trying out into this great unknown, well then, potentially there's good results out of that. Potentially, miracles. <laughs> and of course, we shouldn't jump ahead of ourselves to presume one thing or another about, you know, it's called the great unknown. So we don't know many things, do we? <laughs> I think it's important to pay attention, to be aware of our incredible ignorance. Thanks for watching. See you later.